Matt got a horse. Well, he's only a year and a half old when we got his first horse. He was an individualist, did everything his way. Matt got into wrestling, started in the, just in grade school a little bit. Made the varsity the first year, junior nationals, won first at district, took second place at state. His first year, he redshirted. The University of Nebraska picked him up, was first Cornhusker to go undefeated. Three national championships. World team. World championships. And U.S. Open. And On the national team together. Olympic trials. World teams together. He doesn't even make the Olympic team. And he handed me, I think it was a thousand dollars cash, and he said that he was in this tough man fight. I'm like, what is that? I, I mean, I had no idea what MMA was. All I heard about is the WWF. I thought that maybe he would decide he didn't like it, or maybe it was a little too brutal for him, he wouldn't like it, but I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he had the, one of the best records in the UFC for the middleweight class. They were scared that Matt was going to run through his golden boys. We've got some poster boys in the sport. Rich was their poster boy. He's not what you want your fighter to look like. And the balding head, and he has kind of a lanky body. He's not muscular. He was on the road to the championship. He was on the road to a championship fight. In a bar fight, Matt Lindland would kick Muhammad Ali's ass. Matt Lindland's the number one middleweight in the world. Hands down is number one. Could Matt be number one in the world? Sure he could. I would put Matt Lindland in the top five. The guy's going to work and work and work until he's the best and, and he's right there right now. If he were in the UFC, he could be ranked number one. Number one middleweight in the world. The UFC's decision to let Matt Lindland go was politics. A fighter has never been released from the UFC for a piece of clothing. A t-shirt. T-shirt. Shirt. I mean there was no reason they couldn't just walk up to him and say take that shirt off. This was the first time this has ever happened. Oh, that would be like the New York Yankees cutting a rod. I mean, one guy was yelling, Dana White for president. I mean, that, that sort of stuff will get to you. I don't care who you are. And that's what happens when you have a promotion running the show, setting up their own rankings, and doing basically what they please. Dana White is not the same guy that I knew back then. Here's Dana White flying from country to country in his private jet. He wants to be that Vince McMahon type of guy. Rampage Jackson. I've heard of Rampage Jackson. Randy Couture. Absolutely. Matt Hughes. Yes. Chuck Liddell. Absolutely. Have you ever heard of Matt Lindlin? No. Matt Lindlin? Not Matt, no. Okay. But Matt Hughes. Matt Lindlin. Maybe. Have you ever heard of Matt Lindlin? Matt who? Lindlin. No, I haven't. Is he one of the new up-and-comers? He's not going to be a popular fighter, but I think 20 years from now, he'll kind of be a legendary fighter. He deserved to be there, and at the end of the day, the sport should be about the best fighting the best. So what's the whole point of it? Uh, if the best aren't fighting the best, I don't, I don't understand what we're doing with this thing. It's not really a sport until that happens. People who know MMA know Matt Lindley. Matt Lillen should be fighting in the UFC right now. What, what exactly did, what was the specific reason? Do you guys know? Matt, the 